Previously on Banjo Tooie. Meanwhile, I learned to keep my big mouth shut. I don't know, but you really should, considering it's off your frickin' body now. Now we're gonna walk all the way to the other side. And we're gonna grab this. Oh no, 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 I missed it! No, I didn't. Okay, good. I would have looked pretty stupid if I missed that. <laughs> I would have looked very, very, very stupid. Well, thank God we don't need to concern ourselves with this anymore. Now, how do we get out of here? Do we really have to go through that door? Because I think there's another door. No? Okay, I guess we do have to go out here. Or wait, hold on. I'm... Oh, there we go. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. And that other door actually leads to a Jiggy we cannot collect yet, so that's why I'm ignoring it for the time being. We will definitely grab that later, but for now, there's not much we can do. There's a lot of stuff in this world that we'll need to come back for later. In fact, we're probably not going to come back till we've actually finished all of the normal worlds. Just to clean up everything. But now, we need to actually split up... Thankfully, we have split up pads right here. I'm going to switch to Kazooie first. first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use the flight pad to get back on top of the uh, building. Actually, can I even get up there? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. That's what I thought. Now, I actually mentioned uh, getting this one in a different way, but I accidentally wasted in almost all of my uh, clockwork eggs, so I'm just going to get it this way. The way it was intended to be gotten. But yeah, if you fall through that uh, thing in the chimney, you'll go up here to the boiler plant and you can grab this ginger. This ginger that's just been casually waiting for you the whole time. this to fall back down. I never really saw the elevator shaft, so I guess I'll show that to you guys now. It's basically a long drop. That's all there really is to say about it. In fact, let's die. But yeah, normally you'd climb the rope, obviously. I'm sure you guys probably figured that out already, but... That's what you're supposed to do, anyway. I wanted to die just to make it a little bit quicker. So we're gonna go to... I believe we want to go to floor two. Yeah, that works. Because we need to go back outside so we can grab that other Jinjo, and after we do that, we'll be done. Yeah, this world almost took two hours. That's freaking how long it is. And what's even more is I believe the next two worlds are actually shorter than this even, so... This is definitely the longest world of the game. Just so much you have to unlock and a lot of backtracking and stuff like that. It's just part of it. It's part of the game. So let's go down here, let's open up this. Banjo is going to stand here. While Kazooie is actually going to go outside and grab the Jinjo. 
Normally she'd actually use her uh, climb shoes to actually get it. But I'm actually going to just fly up to it. Flying works too. Works just as well, honestly. If anything, I think it's a little faster too. It's a brown ninja. I don't think we've seen too many of those. Which, hey, I'm fine with that. And yeah, once again, dying will be faster. So, just to verify that we have everything, I think we do and we're covered, but... Better safe than sorry. Yep, okay. We are good to go. Banjo, let's join back up and get the hell out of here. Our next stop is going to be Witchy World. We're going to go and finish that up. I'm not really sure how we're doing in terms of unlocking worlds. I think we have to actually unlock the next two worlds, I believe. I don't really remember. Or actually, I may have unlocked the next one, but the one after that I think I still need. Well, I'll check that in due time. First, I want to make sure I get everything else done. Let's go back to Pine Grove. That is where Witchy World is located. And the best part of this is we won't actually have to uh, really uh, leave this world and go to Pterodactyl Land because there's actually a shortcut here that will take us straight there. So that'll actually solve a lot of our problems. But yes, we are back in Witchy World. Uh, there is actually something else I have been meaning to show in this world, so I'll make sure I show that as well. I mean, I kind of skipped another part of this world, kind of a big part of the world, that kind of unlocks a secret code. Let's just say I didn't uh, pay attention to all of the different attractions that are available here in Witchy World. But the first thing we want to do is now that we have the taxi pack, we can finally take care of that last child. The child who ate too much. I believe he's around here somewhere. Yep, there he is. Ugh, childhood obesity, guys. It's not good. I know because I was a victim of childhood obesity and it's not good. It's really not good. It really holds you back and prevents you from doing a lot of different and cool things. I'm glad that I'm actually starting to lose weight now. Trust it trust me, it makes you feel a lot better. So if you're if you're overweight and out of shape, you'll feel so much better when it's gone. And it's a great feeling. What did I tell you about not running off? I'm sorry, Mom. Sorry isn't good enough, young man. You've been eating again, haven't you? Well, you still better want your dinner. It was that strange bear, Mom. He made me eat this burger. Enough of your lies. Spank, 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 spank! Well, I think we've all had enough excitement for today. Time to go back home to Hallifire Peaks. Boggy will be wondering where we've gone to. He'd better have the dinner in the oven. Bye then. Thanks again, Banjo. Take this jiggy I found in the ticket office earlier. Did 
Did we really need to walk that watch that walking animation? I think I might have nightmares for life now. Anyway, that takes care of that, Gigi. And I think we're actually done. Yep, that's it for Witchy World. But there is the matter of Pterodactyl Land to take care of, and that's what we're going to do next. So, let's uh, grab Kazooie again. Uh, yep, behind the big top. And here is that attraction I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about. Come inside and have your fortune told by Madame Grunty. However, we are contractually obliged to point out that you may not necessarily like what she decides. Sounds good, not. Ah, welcome. I will now choose your fate. You win a beating. I like this one. So yes... You can have your fortune read by Grunty, and randomly, she will actually give you a cheat. But, most of the time, it's just random pickups like gold feathers, or getting beat by her. Honestly, getting the cheat is completely random, and it's not really worth it either, especially if you plan on beating the game. It helps you if you do want to beat the game and you don't know what to do, but... There's so much luck involved in getting the cheat that it's really not worth it that much, so... Uh, that's my opinion on that, anyway. Basically, it allows you to uh, research Jiggy locations for all the different worlds. But right now, we need to actually grab some burgers. Because, remember... We need to feed some uh, hungry cavemen. And even though we can't take food outside the park, there is actually a very small entrance here in this world that will allow us to make it out of here with our food still intact. And yeah, we can try the tent again if we wanted to, but I'm not going to. I've had enough beatings for one day. Also, you have to be very quick in this run, because you have to go all the way over here to Area 51. I mean, you, like, quite literally have just barely enough time to make this. See, the shoes, like, ran out right there. But yeah, we are back in the Oogle Boogles cave. We didn't lose our burgers. So now let's feed some hungry cavemen. After setting them on fire. Now, from my understanding, you actually have an infinite amount of the food, whether you get burgers or fries. You can honestly pick either. But yeah, you have to go around and then feed all of the cavemen. Okay, now that's the way that's the way we came from. My bad, my bad. Once again, this TV in dark places doesn't really mix well. Okay, we have one more to feed. I believe he's at the top. If I can find... oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, 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 oh,
There you go, Mr. Caveman. Baron Bird, friend, save Ugu Boogle tribe from extinction. Must have reward now. Thank you. I appreciate it. Why are there teeth marks on it? Me thought chocolate was inside. <laughs> I love that quote. That's probably one of my favorite quotes from the game. It does look like that would be like a candy of some kind. Maybe uh, Rareware should capitalize on that sometime. Make a uh, jiggy chocolate candy. Well, now that we've done that, we're back in Pterodactyl land. Uh, how are we doing? We'll look at our totals first. Well, we only have one more Jiggy, and that Jiggy belongs to Dippy the Dinosaur. However, we still can't solve his problem, but there is actually something else we can do. And I think I am going to do that next. Just for the sake of uh, completion. Because we need to go back to the Stomping Plains. We've done this obstacle course with Banjo and Kazooie, we've done it with Kazooie. Now we need to do it with Banjo, and now we actually have a means for doing it with Banjo. He will get stomped very easily, but... He does have the snooze pack now, so he can recover his health. Remember, you only need to ha heal once, so you don't need to wait every single time. All these attacks will just take him down to 1 HP, so... You have a lot of leeway with what you can do. that we can now explore what's behind here. Oh right, uh, so yeah we actually leave the world by doing this so we need to get Kazooie over here too. And now you really do need to be careful though because you cannot heal damage with Kazooie, remember. So be very patient and don't try to make a run if you can't. And inside here we get a Jiggy. It's actually not part of Pterodactyl Land, it's part of the next world Hailfire Peaks. Another one of those Jiggies that you just randomly, like, get from another world that's almost just like a throwaway Jiggy. I have my theories about why they did it this way, but still, it's kind of lazy, I have to admit. But yeah, that's going to do it for Pterodactyl Land for right now. The last Jiggy we'll get after we accomplish the mission. It's one of those where if you're not in the area, it'll just automatically count to your totals anyway, so... I'm glad they did that with a few of these Jiggies, because otherwise that would have been really annoying. But for now, let's, uh... Let's actually go to the clifftop again. Because there is actually a Jinjo there we can get now. Now that we have the uh, claw clamber boots. You see, it's always a sequence with this game. You do one thing and you'll unlock something else. OK, 
Okay, where are the boots? Actually, no, I know where they are. They're actually over here. And here I can actually verify that I... I have opened up this world. Okay, cool. That'll actually save me a lot of time in the long run. But for now, we need to grab a Jinjo. I suppose this could be another instance where you could use the uh, Clockwork Kazooie eggs. Although I don't know, that might be just high enough out of reach, so... I can't verify that for sure. But that is actually going to do it for now, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this session. It has been over two hours, so... Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and next time I see you, we're going to be venturing inside this world. Hail Fire Peaks! Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Later, folks.